sometimes babies start to get a big belly and they're crying and then they, they start crying for a while and they start crying again and their belly gets full and the pediatrician's worried he says it could be a thing called intersusception. What is intersusception? Yeah, so this is not uncommon and it's worth uh, parents knowing about. Is there any particular age group yeah. more prone than the other age group? Yeah, and I think the late infant or the toddler, the kid who's six months, a year, a year and a half, uh, this is a typical age and it's typically a healthy baby uh, who's uh, thriving and happy and the parents are shocked because the baby's screaming inconsolable with episodes, almost like labor pains, curling up the knees, screaming sometimes throws up some bile, but even between the episodes the baby's listless and not themselves. Occasionally a big bloody bowel movement that looks like red jelly will come out. But this is a condition where the intestines which are moving along by their own involuntary processes telescope inside themselves, causing waves of obstruction and pain. And that needs to be recognized and that needs to be treated. That could be a fatal condition unless attention is taken. What time span when you, the kid has it, do you have to fix it? Is yeah, it that's an emergency. You make the diagnosis, you give the baby some fluids, some antibiotics, and you fix it. But it, it oftentimes can be fixed without an operation because uh, a good pediatric radiologist can do a sonogram, can recognize it's going on, can bring the baby to a radiology suite, and can push a little contrast agent, a little air perhaps, up the bottom in the form of an enema and can reduce the thing, can fix it, which uh, avoids an operation completely. You have to have a surgeon available. And in if case it, it doesn't work. So you need a, a pediatric radiologist and you need a surgeon and if they can't push it back, the surgeon operates as an emergency. And the outcome should be terrific, and the chance of it coming back is maybe one out of 20, and when they get older, it becomes very remote. So this was a very healthy kid who can be returned to very good health, but has a little uh, life-threatening event there. And it's a pretty common business. Uh, if uh, a kid had Henan Schoen's peripherals, a little black and blues in the lower extremity, the doctors are worried about that because it seems sometimes it goes hand to hand. Yeah, so now you're talking about a disease of the blood vessels where kids get uh, kids get a, a rash with little broken blood vessels on their skin. And those kids almost always have belly aches, and those kids will very very often have uh, pain in their tummy. But they got to be uh, watched carefully because some of them have an intersusception where there's a little bleeding a little hemorrhage in the wall of the bowels and it makes an intersusception. So it's, it can complicate the condition called henoch line purpura. Now, usually you can manually reduce it in an operating room, but on a very rare occasion, sometimes the ball can become gangrenous and it, it does require resection, but that's not too often today, is that true? Well, if you get, if you get, if the mom and dad are lucky enough to get to the right doctor and get proper attention, be most often fixed by radiology. If it comes to an operation, usually we can just reduce it, as you said, and uh, the surgeon has to have good judgment. If the bowels lost their blood supply, you need a little more surgery, which includes removing something's dead. It's dead. You got to remove it. Because that's not too often. Usually, you can do it manually, or as you said, use a radiologist and get it repaired. Yes, sir. Yeah. But it's not common to see that in big kids. It's usually the younger kids, is that yeah, true? Yeah, so this kind of a thing can happen to adults, but it's usually a very different situation. What happens to a grown-up or an older kid, you wonder if there's something wrong with the bowels that's pulling them along. It just seems to be these uh, toddlers, these robust kids six months to a couple of years, where it just happens out of the blue, there's nothing wrong with the bowels, they just decide for no re good reason to slip inside themselves. Maybe a little virus, routine illness. The older kids sometimes have something wrong, a little something growing there that's leading the bowels to intersusception. 